Welcome to the Hawaii Trading Podcast with your hosts Reed Hicks and Glenn Nabua. Welcome to this episode of Hawaii Trading Podcast. Glenn and Reed here. And today's episode, we want to give you a cool, nice, different topic. You know, we want like just get, want to share some things we've been doing in our personal lives. You know, Reed and I been doing this this program called 75 hard for those who don't aren't familiar with it if you look up uh, Andy Frisella shout out to that guy he's the creator of this program um it's a mental toughness challenge now the challenge for 75 days just to sum it up right you have to do these five tasks to do two workouts 45 minutes each one has to be at outdoor uh, drink a gallon of water every day. Read 10 pages of a nonfiction book, a self-development book. Um, no alcohol. Stick to a certain diet and no cheat meals. Okay. What is that? Six things? Anyway. And and take a progress photo. And take a progress photo every day for 75 days. You don't have to post that photo for the public to see. This is for your own benefit to for so that you're you can track your daily progress. Now, I remember. Uh, a few months ago when Reed brought it up to me, this challenge, because it was, it was, he had, he had the idea. I knew about it at the beginning of this year. I saw other people do it, but I could not uh, mentally prepare myself to go and do it until we we were um, at a coffee shop over here at Kakaako standing in line and we're getting, ironically, we're getting coffee and tea, I think caffeine essentially. And Reed's over there. He's like, dude, I think I'm going to give up caffeine. I'm like, dude, are you, what's going on? Like, he's like, yeah, you can go share, share what you, uh, what you was telling me on that day. Yes. Yeah, specifically it was, I need to give up coffee. Cause I'm, I'm a caffeine addict, right. And specifically coffee and espressos. I have like two a day on top of a coffee and then pre-workout. So it was just horrible for my insides. And to, a couple of my friends, they've done it already. Um, couple of my friends have tried and failed and I'm like you know what I could do that that's too easy I could do that and it got to me where I'm like you know I'm always talking about doing it well stop being a little bitch read and actually do it so that day I was like pretty much convinced like you know what Glenn like I think I'm gonna do this man like I think we're gonna I'm gonna take the leap and actually just commit stop talking about it and be about it you know and so uh, that that's really what started my whole 75 day glenn jumped on board i was surprised i was stoked more than anything i'm like oh hell yeah i got a partner now uh and my business partner is gonna be doing it so heck yeah dude like i'm all on board for it so another another bonus right we got our wives to jump on board right yes yeah my, so was... my wife fell off but you know she knows the benefits but like even just a little bit though you know, like she did it for a little bit and she already recognized the benefits of it. So, I mean, like that's a testament to 75 hard on how awesome Kee, Glenn's wife, she's still in it, right? Your, yep. your wife, she's still doing Going it. Strong. Glenn's still doing it. What day are you on, man? Dude, I am day 51, I believe. 51. More than so, halfway, bro. I'm, I'm yes. up at 56. So just a couple Six. of days ahead of you, a okay. few days ahead of you. But, you know, we around there. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, how are you feeling though? Like, since you actually started seventy five. So, it, it's crazy, man. The, the energy. I feel sharp. I feel focused. Mm. Um, who who would have thought that working out twice a day would give you more energy? You know, make you feel better. <laughs> yeah. It now, sounds like it's like counterintuitive, right? You're like, it is. Two workouts. It is. One workout's tiring enough. Now I'm going to be even more tired. You know, that's what a Absolutely. lot of people think. But yeah, yeah. More, so more energy, more energy. Brain fog. Um, being able to just accomplish the things that you need to do. Um, you know, during the one of the weeks we were, we had a bunch of things lined up for the day and we had an event and we couldn't, we had to figure out how to fit in our second workout. And our plan, see, this is this is just one example of my experience in this. We had a plan to go to the driving range at 9 p.m. because there's a, a, a driving range over here. 
and we were just going to hit balls for 45 minutes, you know, like golf. Yeah. Road. Driving range golf. Yeah. Golf driving range golf. Got you, got you. So our plan was to go hit the driving range and then just stay there until they close, you know? Um, and sure enough, when we got there at like 850, we saw the people who supposed to stay and be in the office to go dish out your bucket. They're walking out and they're like, Oh, are, they asked me, are you guys planning to golf for and she, they told us we're closed. I'm like, what? You know? And so it was 920 and we're like, we need to do a workout outside. And so um, sure enough, we just grit, grinded it out. We um, walked around our neighborhood. We live in downtown. Now at night, the creepies, oh, the creepers come out, <laughs> you know, the, the weird people come out. So Sure enough, we're we're doing our 45 minute walk at 10 ish, 1030 at night in downtown. I mean, you know, granted, we are in we are in Hawaii where it is somewhat um, more safer than a lot of the cities out there. But that that whole idea of just dealing with the inconvenience and then pushing through and sticking to the commitment, that was one of the things that stood out to me that like, you know what? Yeah. We just unlocked a new level here, you know? And so, you know, what, what, what things stood out to you? Like what challenges you've gone through, Reed? Yeah, I could definitely re relate to that. Like there's at least two nights specifically where I'm like 20 minutes before midnight. So midnight's the deadline. And so I was like 1150 one night, you know, um, we're busy as well on the weekends in our events. So we're coming back at like 10 30 like oh my gosh you know we have a 30 minute drive then we have to do a 45 minute like this needs to be done before midnight and then you wake up early the next day so like that's that's challenging but you know it's just i had no thought like hey, i should just give up or i should just stop like i'm we're like just push through that's it it has to be done that was my mindset it has to be done and it's gonna be done and so that's the challenge too. like, we have to overcome that. And like, there's so many times or not so many times, a couple of times again, I forgot to read. I'm like, oh man, I started reading, but I didn't finish my 10 pages. Mind you, the books, trading books that I'm reading are pretty thick, man. They're like little encyclopedias, you know? And so these pages are really, really long and, and daunting. So I have to, I had to stay up, man. I'm like, I'm like dozing off trying to read, you know? So th those are the challenges that I've had to overcome for sure. Like pain, body pains and aches, you know, and, and having to overcome that and just get that second workout in. So, I mean, it, nothing great comes without sacrifice, you know, right. sacrificing time, sacrificing the, the comfort. Right. So, I mean, yeah, I, yeah, just, that's all I got, man. Yeah. That's oh, some so challenges there. What, what was the what was the number one or like the main thing you the reason why you started this? Like why did you start the 75 hard? Yeah, so I've been pretty fit like because of the military. So being active and engaged with my physical side, the 75 hard that wasn't my point to like gain muscle or lose weight or whatnot. It was the mental resiliency aspect. And I think um so, by the way, who, I don't know if we mentioned it, but Andy Frisella, he's the guy that invented this 75 hard challenge. We didn't invent it. It's just, it's changed thousands of people's lives all across the globe and it's inspiring. And so what I liked about his aspect, he said like, this is a mental resiliency challenge. This is not uh, anything else other than that. And that is what really got to me, man. So like, how about you? Like that? Like I knew that mental resiliency definitely flows into trading, discipline, all that. It flows grit, you know, that flows into trading, man. How about yourself? Like when I when I first brought it up, like what were your initial thoughts? Like, hey man, I'm doing the 75 hard. Like, dude, this guy's crazy. Like, what <laughs> what do you think, man? Oh, it was that moment, like, oh bro, this guy's pushing me in the corner. I'm going to say yes. the pressure. Okay. Yeah. He, he pulled the pressure on me. He caught me in the moment. You know, I thought we we're just grabbing a cup of coffee and just going over some trading stuff. No, <laughs> this guy trolls this challenge. But you know what? You know what? I'm glad you did. I'm glad you gave me that nudge because for the past two or three years on my goals, I've been writing to, you know, just increase our health and get better live live a, a better lifestyle uh physically and mentally 
And, you know, that's been on my, my goal list and I keep writing it down this year. You know, I wrote it down, typed it out, put it, printed it out. And I haven't really taken action. And so the, the first three quarters of this year, we, we just been, it's been nuts. You know, we've been doing a lot of stuff with our businesses and whatnot. The wife and I have been traveling um, and just our, our, uh, schedule was stacked and so mentally I was not there I couldn't commit we purposely opened up the last quarter of our our year and by re when Reed introduced it to me I, it was just it was almost a no-brainer it, it just fell in line and if um I like I, if I was going to make an excuse to not do it this time, you know, that what, when am I going to do it? You know? Yeah. Just like you just, we just keep pushing it forward. Right? Like I was saying the same thing, man. Like I could do it. I could do it. Well, then do it. Like, yeah. Stop talking about it and just do it. You know? The, so the bonus, the bonus you, you was yeah. pushing that goal back. So like for me, just like, I, I felt like after um grinding out earlier this year, took a little we took a little break and I felt like we were like mentally I was getting comfortable mentally I wasn't pushing the way I know I should and so this was a perfect opportunity for me to just build more res uh, grit more discipline you know overall mental toughness that's my goal the the physical stuff was the bonus or caveat while doing oh, yeah. this challenge, you know? And so let's transition, right? Let's sharing. We shared our uh, experience currently. We're almost done. We're almost there. Now, how does this translate into trading, bro? Like, have you noticed anything? You know, we're all, we're doing the work on some one that, but does it help oh, with the charts? Dude, absolutely. Like it's so transferable because for example, I take a trade and I confess to you, man, like I didn't journal my, my journal or I didn't journal my trades. I didn't write what I was feeling at that time. So like I was just lacking a lot in, in journaling. And what this made me do is like, Hey dude, you took a trade. All right. And I really have do the hard thing, like written down, like get it done. Discipline equals freedom. I have it right here on the, my little note pattern on my screen. And I'm like, yep, I gotta, I gotta journal it. I gotta log it. I gotta take a photo of it. I gotta make sure that I know what I'm I'm doing instead of just like blindly taking a trade or not blindly, but just taking a trade and forgetting about it. Right. That's what a lot of traders have the tendency to do. So now I'm like, I'm writing down things. I'm analyzing my thoughts and my processes. I've added and updated my own personal journal with psychology, what I was thinking, my notes on that. And then notes after like, it's just it yeah absolutely it's improved my trading would you say the same since you, we started this 75 challenge oh 100 percent um so yeah in what ways just this thing right the, you've probably heard it before we're mental athletes you know when it comes to trading right you're you're con you're competing against the greatest minds in the world quants and whatnot you know just having a a solid foundation with lifestyle, having a proper sleep, taking care of your health, taking care of yourself, your mental, whatnot. Like that's just to get in the game, you know? And so that re this challenge reinforced that, right? Get it, me getting the proper sleep, um, not do goofing off, staying up too late. So from there, it translated into um, the discipline of just refining. I spent some time to go, um, do some journaling, do some back testing, some reviewing. And I felt like I was like zoned in. Like I got re obsessed with trading, yeah. you know, these past. I, I, I second that, bro. You I know, like, yeah, the, it, it just grew. It's like I re I started trading, you know, it's like that people. passion, like refueled. Yeah. Like that fire is like pouring right. gasoline on a fire, like reigniting us. Absolutely. So like that, even though it didn't translate directly to like big wins and whatnot, I know that in order for us to level up ourselves or in, in trading, we're going to need to do these different shifts in, in our, our lives, you know, in order for it to bleed into trading. So, you know, just expanding, getting focus, uh, removing more distractions, 
those are those things that's going to be translating that translated for me in trading. Oh, yeah, I want to add to that, like self-control, right? That's something that translates so heavily into life and trading. And like, you know, when we don't have self-control in trading, we're making the bad trades or making the wrong, wrong moves. Right. So I think putting like the emotions aside and becoming con in control of our ourselves, like this challenge has helped me be aware of that for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think like, yeah. Another go, bonus, go, go. It, it forced, it forced me to read more trading books, man. <laughs> so. yeah. yeah. That's all I've been reading for <laughs> sure. For sure. So good gaining, gaining more knowledge. That's definitely a win, especially mm. in the, during these holidays. I feel like it was like a, a like a, a perfect time well, for me personally, but I don't know if other people may think timing wise during the holiday season to go do some sort of challenge like this. It's going to requ require more of you because, yeah, you want to kick back. You want to celebrate with the fam friends and family. You want to have that drink and whatnot uh, by us, you know, staying on course, saying no to, you know, the cheat meals and all that, sticking to the diet. Um, it just made everything easier. And like, this is one, one line I wanted to just share and point out. This is coming from Andy. Um, mental toughness is a perishable skill. You got to practice it consistently for it to be at a high level, you know? And so a lot of people, like you're listening to this episode and you're like, what does that mean, dude? Like, why do great athletes continue to train, right? Why do they still show up first, be the first one in the gym when really they already have championship rings, you know, they're, they're a veteran in their, their lead. And, you know, um, you'd be like, oh, they're good already. They shouldn't. But no, the work still continues. Their biggest competitors themselves, themselves yesterday, last, this year. You know, one of my fears going into next year, 2023, is like, I need to, I don't want to be the same Glenn 2022 going into 2023. <laughs> and so wow. I felt like this challenge was a great, um, you know, igniter and plus a great trans transition into a different Glenn or different Reeb, different yourself, you know? So that's kind of a metaphorically speaking way to think about these things. Now, going, taking what we're experiencing, we were inspired, you know? We had this conversation the other week, Reed and I, and we were inspired by this challenge to be like, you know what? Let's go create something for our members. Let's go create something for the traders out there. Okay. Let's go create something. So what we got, man, what we got for them. So we're going to come up We're we're, we created this 60 day trading challenge um, where it's going to be 60 days and we're going to have you do specific. It's going to be, uh, similar to the 75 hard, but in a way of just focusing on trading. The goal of this challenge is to help you guys build better habits and even lead to funding. You know, we we want people to, from day one, to grow all the way to day 60. We want them to grow uh, mentally, you know, just to develop all the great traits that these awesome traders have, like um, discipline grit confidence resiliency self-control because when you are increasing those attributes then it's going to bleed lead to better trading plain and simple you know and we you know going through this 75 day challenge ourselves like we're so confident for traders to participate in this 60 day challenge Guarantee if you stick to it, you're going to be better day one to day 60. Okay. We're not guaranteed. We're not saying you're going to, you know, hit a hundred percent return on your, on your account, but really we're going to the root. We're going to the foundation. And with these challenge, with this challenge, 60 day challenge, 
we're going to be helping you become better. A better version of you. That's like in the end of the, that that's what you're going to be. You're going to be a better version of yourself. And in that translates into pr more profits, less losses, smaller losses. You know, yeah. it's just, it's going to affect your trading so much because I want to say like your success with trading is going to be really dependent on the skills that you're going to be developing in the 60 day challenge. And that skill is that mental resiliency, right? Like it's a developed skill, not these great traders out there. They had to develop up. No, no one's born a trader. Literally no one is coming out of the mother's womb. Like I'm going to be a trader. You know, it's a skill that is developed just like mental resiliency is, is developed. And I think it, it translates well with trading because how you bounce back from hardships and the challenges that this, this, our challenge is going to give you is how you're going to be able to bounce back from drawdowns, from losses. You know, we all have that ability to be high achievers. And like, even like Glenn and I, we're at a certain level, but we know that we could be even higher and, and better than what we are. And that's continuously refining. Like Andy mentioned, it's a perishable skill, right? Glenn said that earlier. If we're not keeping up to date on and that high achieving standard and trying our best, we're just going to stagnate and end up falling down. It's like the market, you know, there, it's a uptrend for so long. And then there's always going to be a pullback. But with our challenge with life, we don't have to stay in those drawdowns. We don't have to stay in those losses. We could come back up. So, yeah, th this is going to help you develop the skills. It, it just takes repetition. It's like going to the gym, building a muscle, you know, we're yep. building that mental muscle. Yeah. So let's get into the details, Reed. So why 60? All right, cool. Why 60? Yeah, so first, we're going to do this for 60 days because we've all tried certain things. Like, I know I remember one is I wanted to stop biting my nails, right? I should literally stop for it, it, 21 days is what science says that you could create new habits, right? You're supposed to replace old habits with a new habit. And in 21 days, that old habit's going to be gone. Well, science have found out that those neural pathways in our brain is wired to a degree where like once you've created those network pathways it's always there it's almost like a road once the road is put down it'll always be there but like if we dig it up it it's a road again that road can be covered with dirt but we just dig the dirt out and boom it's there and that's kind of like any even alcoholics who have overcome that issue that neural pathway that addiction that knock hey just have one drink it's it's always going to be there it's just they've risen above that that voice that says hey let's give in let's do it so 60 days will help build the specifically help build a, a new network where you can follow instead of going left hey i'm gonna go right and not do the the old habits and so that's the that's the number of where like i just want to say like old patterns end up returning old habits end up returning if we don't consistently create and continue on that habit and that 60 puts a number of consistency and grit and i'll say this from brett steenberger our negative thought patterns are learned habits the key to cognitive work is unlearning them and replacing them with more constructive ways of processing events this creates healthy habits and essentially that's what this 60 day challenge is that's why we're doing it specifically for 60 days it doesn't have to be 75 doesn't have to be 90 but 60 days is a good solid time frame to to really build that mental resiliency muscle right so right. yeah like why now why now all, all of a sudden we're, we're doing this man yeah it's like new uh New Year's is coming around, right? 2023, January 1st. People are going to be posting New Year, New Me, New Year resolution. Right? <laughs> yeah. They'll hit the gym for like one week. Three weeks. Actually, they, they've they like what's, literally what's got that? it down to science where three weeks is the average gym goer's time of new resolution, new resolution goer, right? You know, new Year, New Me. Three weeks owners, is average. Like gym owners' favorite time of the year is January. Yeah. Why? Because yeah, the membership spike up, man. <laughs> yeah so Without we're gonna fail, take yeah. you past that guys we're gonna take you past that in this 60-day challenge you know we're gonna be launching this hopefully at the beginning of january and 
you know not hopefully bro we will, we will. be launching we will we will we be will. launching it Jan- so, come january 1 glenn and i are going to be doing this so like you know that voice comes up like oh you know i gotta wait for the right time now is not the time you know how many of you guys have have told yourselves that right we you guys thought of a goal you tried to set it and then that little voice in your head now is not the right time maybe next time maybe in the next month next year you know like how how long are you guys gonna give in to that little voice to push off your goals right when are you gonna just do it and so you know the biggest trait with this this program is is the goal is to just build consistency right reed was talking about how um down to a neural science way where we're creating a new path for our brain to to work right so building that consistent thing you gotta we gotta start learning how to do the hard things you want to be consistent at it you know even though the we, like the things we're going to be saying the, the layout of the program we're going to be telling you guys it might seem hard at first you know you can't don't don't knock until you try it right and then you start building you start building upon and so um the point the point of this challenge like yes you're gonna have hard times yes it's gonna be inconvenient right just think about tell ask yourself this how am i gonna look like on the other side of it when i do do it when i do knock out this last workout or read those last 10 pages of the book or back test that one strategy that i've been pondering on for the last three months and that and I'll finally have answers and some stats so that maybe I could even employ it next week or next month, you know? So the whole idea is just to get the ball rolling. You know, we're, we're hoping to get this snowball effect from ourselves and from you guys to just continue and grow. And so- I want to share the statistic, statistic mm. that, 90% of traders fail, right? We, we actually talked about it in one of our previous podcasts. And I believe they fail is because they're not creating good habits, right? And if you don't want to be part of that 90 percentile, this 60-day challenge will get you beyond that because they're not doing the hard things, right? Hard, hard things with trading is journaling, analyzing your emotions, asking yourself the hard questions of why you're, you're mad at this trade. Is it the market? Is it me? You know, asking those questions, that's going to put you ahead of people in that 90 percentile. And so it will be hard. Yes, it's hard confronting yourself. You know, it's hard taking a loss and then feeling that blame, that guilt that I did this. You you overcome that. It, it's almost it's a sense of um relief once you overcome that, those those thoughts. And that's the point of it. It's like doing the hard thing will put you ahead of that group. You know, listen to these hedge fund managers. Listen to Brett Steenbarger, Van Tharp. These guys are still trying to find ways to improve. Okay. They're still trying to find new strategies and new ways to look at the market. They're always on that growth mindset on how to be better, whether it's in life or with trading. And so again, coming back to who it's for, this could be your day one. You didn't, haven't even placed a trade mm-hmm. to 10 year, 20 year veteran. Like mm-hmm. this 60 day challenge is going to definitely help you out. Yeah, we definitely, and it's open to everybody, you know, open to anyone and everyone. You don't even have to be a trader, man, but yeah. this is, this is catered to traders. This Oh, cater to traders, <laughs> cater to trader. Yeah. Yeah. So this, like this is a free challenge. We just want to put it out there for you guys. And it's always better when you guys have an accountability group or buddy to go do the challenge with, you know, so nobody feels like they're on their own. I know trading can feel like that overall. Like we feel like, oh, we're, we're the only ones who knows what we're doing or, or trading and whatnot. So um, this is for everybody, anyone who needs a kickstart for the year. Um, people who all want to just get better and so let's like just cover a little bit of the the overall details before we actually go into the actual specific challenge so you know we're kind of basing this 
off of the honor system. You know, we the whole idea is like we are setting we're going to give you a set of rules to do our task every day and you can't have you can't, can't have zero compromise. You need to achieve it. No shortcuts. You know, an example of like if, when people settle for less or, you know, they say I'm going to do a mile, but like ah, I'm going to do half a mile. You're starting to deviate from your goal, and that kind of almost leads to you not following your trading rules to the T. Why even have them if you don't follow them, right? So it leads to losses, yep. you know. And so what we're going to do is for our group, when we start, we're going to have a Discord chat. It's going to be open, and it's going to be um, where everyone can do our daily check-in. You know, we're going to have daily check-ins throughout the 60 days, and we just want to make sure everyone feels included make sure you're participating and showing up and being consistent because the end the end goal is to be your own training coach you're supposed to you want you guys to develop the skills and knowledge you know if you're not starting at completely green day one you know we don't anticipate we don't expect you to be a, your own training coach by day 60 but we do expect you to build some ha some great habits gain some knowledge so that you are better look back at your day one and be like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in 2.0. I'm improved from there, you know? So definitely um, look out for that. You, the whole idea is to just try to build momentum on your own, keep yourself accountable and you'll be able to lead into managing your own trading that way and develop your skills. So a lot of people, they, they like to look for hacks or shortcuts right? Coming into this, this trading um, business when really like to be a great trader, these are one of the last things, like it's hard to shortcut. You can't um, just hack your way into becoming a great trader. You know, you have to do the hard thing. You have to grind it out. You got to blow some accounts, take some lessons um, from the market. And because at the end of the day, you're going to get rewarded and seeing the um, improvement. You're going to see the discipline built. You're going to see all that. And it's going to eventually trickle down into your PL. And so you, you want to really, they say, you know, you get what you put into, right? So if you want a hundred percent result from this challenge, you have to give your hundred percent. Okay. So read, let's dive in to the, uh, the actual challenge, man. Yeah, let's Break get into the details. Yeah. So we have five major points. And the first one will be read five pages of a trading book, specifically a trading book. Uh, it can work loose with this because it can be psychological, right? If it's a psychology book, that, that counts. That, that will help affect your trading. So we put five pages of a trading book, but, you know, anything that will help you trade better or increase your trading that's what you got to do so uh, we also if you're listening we have a discord where we have a specific channel where we have all our books that we recommend and it's constantly being updated and added to so if you guys don't know where to start don't know any good authors or books uh, feel free to hit us up links below check out that discord yes uh, num number two, journal or review a trade and document it. So this is very, very key. It's probably the, the biggest key in my opinion, uh, because I probably struggle with it the most, is you need a journal every single day. Whether you place a trade or not, you have to review a past trade. Or if, you don't even, if you've caught up and you've done all your reviews for every single trade, you need a back test. You need a back test and, and capture a trade that you missed and go ahead and document that. And documenting it is taking a, a screenshot of it and breaking it down, do some markups on it, say why this trade is your, your, the trade that you would enter, how it entered or how it fit your plan. This is going to be for your, you're building your trading portfolio, your trading records right here. Okay. One, one trade at a time. And so what Reed was saying, like, put some, put your effort into this. And then feel free to share it. Post it in the group in the in the Discord chat too, you know. But the the idea is just being consistent with it. Yeah, and this will also show like 
your most ideal trades. It's easy when you back test and when you look at the trades that did work out because you are creating that template where like, okay, this is what I want to see or I need to see in the market before placing the trade. This will help journaling and reviewing your trades will help eliminate emotions. We'll never get rid of them completely, but at least it won't affect us as sharply, right? Um, in trading. So that that's all uh, we'll see. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. There's so many benefits. You, you get your stats with journaling and reviewing your trades and documenting it. Point number three is work out at least once a day. So that's a minimum 45 minutes. Even a walk counts. You know, you just got to get your heart rate up. That's really the point because as traders, we're sitting at the desk all day. You know, um, at least like most of us are right. Or at least that's what most traders do, right? They're sitting at the desk. They're not the, the sharpest or healthiest guys. I mean, look at on a lot of TVs, a lot of prop firm guys, right? They're like slouched over in their chairs, you know, poor body language. And so they're not really burning any calories. So get out there, work out, get that, that burn on. This goes hand in hand with point number four or number three, drink one gallon of water. So three is workout. Number four is drink one gallon of water a day. Why? Because water helps hydrate our body. It helps with the flow of our entire system. So it helps create the nutrients, it helps transport the nutrients into our brain. Really, that's that's why we need to be drinking water and staying hydrated throughout the day. And it has to be water, guys. It can't be like, oh, I hydrated with Gatorade or hydrated with electrolytes. Mm -hmm. Electrolytes, yes, you're gonna need those, but specifically it has to be clear, good old H2O water, okay? Mm -hmm. And finally, you need to set aside money for a funding challenge because the whole point of this is to become that trader, to raise capital, to be able to live off of your trading. And with the, the 60 days, hopefully the jump start to your guys' massive trading career. And you could do it. And ultimately on day 60, the evening of day 60, we're going to be buying a funding challenge. And it's a funding challenge of your choice, prop firm of your choice, um, and prop size of your, your choice. You know, there's as low as $25,000, $10,000, all the way up to a million dollars now, which is pretty amazing. So set aside for however much. Some it's only $200. Some it's going to be around $6,000 for the biggest account. So set money aside, and within 60 days, let's get, we're going to commit to a challenge there together. Mm -hmm. um, I also want to mention, though, we're not including it, but it's good to touch upon is there's no alcohol in this original 75 hard, and there's a strict diet that you have to adhere to. So we're, while we're not actually enforcing that with our rules, it will help you trade better because think about it. If you're, you're coming to the desk and you're hungover or you're not feeling a hundred percent because maybe it's something you ate or, or maybe it's a drink you had the night before and something's not sitting right. You're not going to trade to the best of your ability the following day. And so just, I really want to emphasize like be just aware of what you're intaking into your body. Cause this, this body is, is their temple, man. Like you need to take care of it. You need to make sure that if you want to make money, if you want to be that elite level, you need to arrive in that elite fashion. That's it. And that's, that's it. that means not coming to the charts. You, that means coming to the charts sober. That's what that means. Coming, so, coming to the charts with your best, you know, at your sharp. Yeah, there you go. Your best, right? your best sharp. Right. Coming sharp. Not, not staying off of like two hours of sleep because you decided to game all night or yeah there you go all night you know what i mean um setting yourself up better best for success just to recap right so the whole premise of the challenge you from, from the moment you wake up until you have to go to bed you have to complete these challenges we're not gonna give you oh by 12 11 59 p.m you know if you go sleep if you work a night shift or whatever you know from the moment you wake up to the time you go to sleep that's your time frame to achieve the five points. Read five pages of a trading book, right? It, it has to be a paper book. It has to be an actual book 
you know, no audio books, guys. You know, I love audio books, but there's something about different. Kindle, man. Can do Kindle. Kindle. You know, technology will let it slide, right? If you have I'll a let digital, this one slide, yeah, yeah. If you have a digital format of a book, that's great. Okay, so moment you um from the time you where you're up until you go to sleep, you have to read five pages of a trading book. You have to go review a trade or journal a trade one trade you don't gotta go do your whole week or your whole day or whatever one trade one euro usd long you know and really be intentional with it do one workout point three one workout 45 minutes indoor outdoor you know bring someone with you you'll do them a favor too right so include the whole family if you need to you know this is going to be a great bonding time or whatnot so one 45 minute workout drink a gallon of water a one every day one gallon simple right and then put be intentional with the time for by the end of the 60 days know that you will be participating and to getting going to the next level and uh, applying for a challenge a trading fund challenge so that's kind of just recapping this 60 day trader challenge trade to get better you know where the whole idea is we're not gonna focus on you know making a pnl or achieving a certain return it's building great habits that lead to becoming a great trader as we wind on the conversation you know if any of this resonated with you if this kind of if this inspired you to kickstart 2023 Click the links below if you want to join in on our 60-day challenge because we are starting, right, with or without you. If you want to go do it on your own, feel free. But if you want that accountability, you want the, the group presence, you want to just do it with other people and expand and be uncomfortable, join our challenge. Click the link below. We'll get you into our Discord.